Okay, friends, welcome back to another once a month grocery haul for October. Today after church, I picked up a Walmart order and I think I got most everything I needed from Walmart for the month. Sorry, my puppy Coleman is trying to get at the door. So um, if you are new here, we shop once a month and we get everything that we need for the month. We are in a different season of life. Probably for the next eight to 12 months, we recently had a, sorry, he's eating. Having a puppy is like having another kiddo. He is into everything. Okay, so we're in a different season of life. We had a house fire and lost everything um, six weeks ago. So um, by God's grace, we were all okay. And we have this apartment, it's like a mother-in-law suite on our property. And so we moved our family out here. So we lost all of our stockpile, all of our you know, months and months of food that we had saved up. And so we're kind of starting over. So I'm definitely getting things that we are just using for the month and then slowly trying to build that stockpile. Okay, so it's not laid out super organized like I usually have it because I'm used to having a lot of countertops and I don't. I'm in a, this is, that's the extent of my kitchen. So I'm using my dining table. Like I said, it was after church, so we were eating lunch. And today is like the best day ever because my Emma and her family are driving in from North Texas. They used to live close. We used to see them all the time and I get to see my two grandsons in like an hour and a half, so I'm so excited. So I wanna get this shown to y'all, put away, so I can get ready to love all my grandbabies for the day. Okay, so let me show you what we got. many napkins when we first moved into this space about a month and a half ago and they are already gone I don't we don't normally go through that many but I didn't want to get the whole Sam's pack that I normally get it's like a thousand napkins because I just don't have the storage space for that so I went ahead and just got this one same thing with the freezer bags I usually get the Ziploc brand from Sam's but I have already I just used one box um, last month that was already out here. So I just got one of those. And then this Lysol laundry sanitizer is amazing for athletic clothes and athletic smell. And so I use this for my son's football uniforms. And then this Bellway Super Fiber, a couple of us use this and like this supplement. Um, the strawberries. We're kind of going through a phase where we're eating a ton of strawberries, of course, right when the season is ending and the prices are a little bit higher, but I got two two pound, I got two two pound packages, russet potatoes, red potatoes, um, tater tot, and sweet potato fries. And then I needed these envelopes for Evan's school. We're gonna do an envelope per letter and um, put there's a worksheet that goes with his kindergarten curriculum that we're gonna put cut and put in here for each letter of the alphabet. That will be fun. We use my father's world kindergarten for him. And I've used that with all my kiddos. We have homeschooled, I think this is our 16th year of homeschooling, 17th, I don't know. So I also got this cardstock for him. We are starting a farm unit this next week. So I needed to print a few things on here. This is kind of my little gluten-free section. I got this Hawaiian sweet bread again. This was really good. I got um, all the gluten-free Oreos because my family enjoys 
These taste just like regular Oreos, so it didn't make sense to buy two separate ones, so I just bought this for the whole family. I got the double stuff, mint, and then regular at the bottom. I got these plain bagels, gluten-free, gluten-free um, pretzel crisps. I like to, in the soft cheeses, eat these with the soft cheese. And then one thing of sandwich rolls, they're kind of freezer, like freezer packed in there. And then some hamburger buns. Okay, my produce is kind of all <laughs> piled on top of each other. I have some celery, red onion, avocado, I got enough ears of corn for each of us to eat one. We're gonna grill out this week. I have um, four kids at home, three teenagers and my little Evan and then Brian and I. I'm gonna make a um, sandwich that I saw on a reel on Instagram. When I make that, I will film it. It has this shredded lettuce on Hawaiian rolls, some carrots, jalapenos, um, what are these? Oh, cucumbers. And then I got this butter leaf lettuce for some lettuce wraps. I got some, two different kinds of kiwi, the gold kiwi and the green kiwi. These carrot sticks are for salad and the lettuce wraps. Two things of the baby carrots. Okay, this salami and pepperoni are for that sandwich I was telling you about. Two more cream cheeses. This Bragg liquid aminos I use as a replacement for soy sauce. It is gluten-free. These, um, this sweet chili sauce, I got two of these. This is for those lettuce wraps I'm making. Same thing with the rice vinegar. I am making a dessert tonight that I will film for an upcoming video this weekend, or this week, excuse me. Um, it's like a pumpkin trifle and with ice cream and it called for cloves and that was the only if you saw my other grocery haul i will link it below that was the only spice i couldn't find at atwoods this submarine dressing never seen it never heard of it 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 was called for in that sandwich recipe and then again this caramel drizzle is for tonight provolone is for that sandwich meal and then Brian asked for cream cheese spread. So I got the brown sh sugar and cinnamon and the regular with bagels. And then of course his bagels were on um, back order. So I did not get those in this haul. I'll pick those up at Aldi. I bought this Chobani coconut yogurt last month and it was really good. I think me, Elizabeth and Brian are the only ones that ate it. So I only got um, eight of those. One pound of Italian sausage. I don't have a plan with it, but I have no meat stockpiled, so I went ahead and picked that up. These taquitos will be an easy lunch for us one afternoon on a busy school day. We'll just have chips and salsa with it. I think I only have, this is all the onions I have left from last month. So I got two more white and one red, two bags of Gala apples and then our smoker was unaffected by the fire. It was outside, but our smoking chips were inside and they were tossed um, after the fire. So I went ahead and got some of these. This is the hickory. So we can smoke something. We're gonna process our meat birds here pretty quick. And so I thought maybe we could do some rotisserie chickens out there. Um, I got these clothes pins for school and then I'm also going to use some as chip chip clips because we have run out. Okay, just a few things on here. I went ahead and got these 12 ounce, oh sorry, 16 ounce wide mouth um, mason jars. Brian likes these as just drinks for cups and so I went ahead and got those and then we have really been loving this cold brew coffee. So I've been getting one a month, but it's been running out at about week three. So I went ahead and got two of those, two apple juices. So this is the shampoo and conditioner I like. I got some of this Cantu curling cream for the kids, some floss sticks. These are yogurt bites. We use these for therapy. Evren does speech therapy on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and he goes through about half of a bag a session. We use them as like bribery to do a task during therapy. So that should get us through the whole month. This little fingertip sprayer I had just bought for him for school. 
Um, we're following a program called So Happy to Learn. It is specifically for children with Down syndrome to teach to read. And she has a little spray bottle and she puts a little drop of lavender oil inside and calls it focus spray. So I thought that was really cute. So we have not implemented that. I will let you know how that goes, but I went ahead and got this so we can make more focus spray for Sweet Evan for school. I bought this sleep aid. I don't ever take a sleep aid ever, ever, ever. But since the fire, it has been hard for me to shut my mind off at night. I've been working on these inventory sheets and just it's hard to just let my mind just drift into sleep. And so on nights when it's been a long time and I'm just laying there, I thought this would be nice to just have so that way I can get rest. I know this is just a season, it won't last forever. This coconut curls is what my Everett has been liking. Um, we've been going to a barber lately for him and his hair has looked so nice. And so this is just for him. I had bought the girls two conditioners and one shampoo. And of course, this is the only thing that they had. So I'm gonna have to order those online because girls go through quite a bit of conditioner. They have beautiful curls and very long hair. And so it, it just requires a lot of product. I had bought this for Brian. If you noticed, he is sporting a very thick beard, which is new to us. So this is so he can trim it. Okay, lastly, sorry for the mess. I'm trying to thaw some chicken for dinner. I'm also gonna, oh, sorry, I'm also gonna film that. We are gonna make some root beer barbecue grilled chicken tonight. So I have these tortillas. These are fresh tortillas. We're gonna make fajitas this week. And then I thought these looked really nice. Um, these Baroche buns, we're gonna have something with them this month. And then these are for those sandwiches I was telling you about. This is what they substituted the bagels for. I'm just now thinking about that because I had cinnamon bagels. So they gave us cinnamon swirl bread. That is fine, they will love that. And then the Texas toast is for French toast and garlic bread. This morning I made some baked oatmeal. We ate about half of that. This comes out warm and then you serve it with milk like cereal and it is so, so good. Okay, lastly, two green grapes. I'm sorry, I can't. Two purple grapes and two green grapes. Okay guys, the only thing that was not shown is we had two things of vanilla ice cream that is for our dessert tonight and then a bag of mixed fruit. For smoothies, when we got home, I went ahead and just threw everything on the counter and put those in the freezer because we wanted to enjoy our lunch. So thanks so much for watching. Y'all have been so sweet and kind and gracious to us and just accepted the flow of our channel as our life has changed. And we just appreciate, for the most part, everyone has been so, so kind. And um, y'all's kindness is also just evidence of a faithful God. We've really just been praying um, that we would stay joyful and content and just find joy in the dailiness of life. And so while it's been very, very hard and we have not walked that out perfectly every day, we have definitely seen God move and we've seen our relationships grow deeper as we have been in more of a tight quarter. And then also just when you go through something together, it just bonds you so much more. So we are hoping in the days and weeks to come to kind of take y'all along for the demo. They're gonna start um, demolishing the um, parts of our house, which is basically everything, but down to the studs this next week and then the rebuild process. So if those are things that you're interested in and you are not a subscriber, we would love to have you join us. Um, also, it's always my intention and it's always easier for me to post stories on Instagram. So if you don't follow us over on Instagram, we will leave that down below. We would love to have you join us over there. So, okay guys, I'm gonna go get ready for my grand boys and hope y'all are having a blessed day. Thanks so much, we'll see you soon, bye-bye. So you can feel it. So you can feel it. So